Hello, I'm Max Seregrets, the founder of Setapop. Thank you for using Setapop. In this tutorial, I will show you the basics, but please also watch the advanced tutorials that show you how to use Setapop with your favorite software. So to start with, you might have this view. There's a number of projects that you can select. We're going to select one of them and it'll take us directly to the project site. Now you can press P to select the entire project here, or you can select uh, a rectangle, for example, like this. For now, we'll just select the entire project area and adjust the selection a little bit using the corners. Now let's click the eye icon over here. That will give us a 2D preview of this place. There. We now see approximately what kind of data there is in this area. There's height maps, trees, buildings, roads, property lines, water regions. Now, if we want to see a bit more, we might hover over CAD here and take one of these templates and click the little box icon over there, for example, photo. This will take us to a 3D preview where we can more properly investigate this site. Something like this, for example. We have the 3D buildings, the 3D terrain, trees and all. And we can also investigate the, the daylight, um, how daylight affects this, this site quite easily here, or different times of day and all kinds of things can be done in this view. Returning here, for example, if you're using Archicad, you might want to download the Archicad file. And for that, you'll just click this button here. And th this might pop up from time to time for you, and it asks you to select a suitable coordinate system, for example, square ref 9918. And there we go, we have our file. We would now proceed to open it in our favorite software, but that's for another tutorial. One last trick I want to show you here is that using this little button, by clicking that one, you will get a selection file. And if you drag and drop that file into this view, it will get you back to your selection. So you don't have to uh, redo it again later. Final thing that I want to point out in this uh, brief tutorial is that you can make your own templates using the te new template button or use the cog keys to modify any existing template. So for example, clicking this button will get us this view. And here, for example, we might decide to I don't know, disable the buildings, for example. And if we were now to, uh, to preview this, we would get a different view. Thank you for this. Uh, please watch also the other tutorials.